Well team, this is freaking amazing. For the first time in like four weeks, five weeks, there are zero lawns to cut over the weekend. Freaking amazing. All we had to do was spend $13,000. You should watch this video to find out why. Yeah, cool intro. Um, all right, so basically what happened this week was um, one of our mowers broke, so we ended up buying a, uh, a $13,000 72-inch, 37-horsepower, like massive Ferris mower because uh, we've been doing a lot of big properties lately and getting into more and more of that. It's just kind of where we've been going with them. Because we do a lot, we're getting a lot more small properties as well, but, you know, it's been, we get a lot of big ones also, and our, our mowers currently are great for these smaller properties. But, um, you know, we're starting to, like I said, so it's been really fast. I mowed on a, I mowed a bunch of properties with them this week because I was helping the two, two new, newer team members learn. And wowzers, that thing is fast, and it's like, so if you do the math on it, basically it's two miles an hour, it's 10 versus 12 miles an hour, and then it's uh, five versus six feet, so it's like 30, 35% faster. Um, awesome, awesomeness. Um, two new guys are doing great. Uh, we have the other two guys, one of them is leaving, one of them is staying. We gotta, we're gonna have to replace, not replace, I should say that, but like another team member on the mowing crew to replace the guy that's leaving. So uh, that's awesome, coming up next week. Yeah, I'm just overall excited. We definitely make a lot of money on mowing this week because, uh, you know, we have, like I said, we have the, the newer team members and I was with them. I mean, it, it obviously doesn't, I'm not, like, it's not like I'm paying a trainer or anything for what I'm paying me, but still, I, I still, uh, I'm spending my time there, so I'm not doing as much as I should, all of things as I should be. Uh, but I'm hoping that next week we'll be able to get uh, somebody on and then our, our guy, uh, our also team member, Jesse, can teach the new guy and then the other, these two guys know what's, what's going on. So that way these two can, you know, do their thing. Jesse plus newer guy can do their thing, newest guy can do their thing, and then I have all next week to focus on catching up on office work and continue to interview for the office person position. The one applicant I found that I like, I still haven't made the decision on yet because I wanted to interview like 10 more people, but I just haven't been able to. So that's something I'm going to be really focusing on over the next couple days, or over this weekend, then over the couple of next week. Um, the other stuff I'm focusing on is a late. I, I made a list basically of what I do with the company. I, it's a lot shorter than you think, or than I thought it was. Um, I just kind of get, not distracted, but I get pulled in these different directions. So this weekend, I really need to knock out pretty much, hopefully, everything I possibly can to get some stuff done. Sorry, I touched my neck on some bone. I whacked a couple branches and whatever. But, um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. And then, um, yeah, there's another truck that I'm looking at buying, and I, like, I think I talked about that last time, so I'm going to talk about it again. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I just want to stay good on cash. We're a little bit low on cash right now. Um, you know, I mean, it's, I think it's a lot of it's a collections thing. Uh, our accounts receivable well, is probably actually close to like the thirty to forty thousand dollar mark, which is like way higher than I would ever want it to be. Like twenty is the highest I'm like comfortable with. But um, so I mean, once that's taken care of, I guess we're not going to be low on cash. But currently, we're a little low on cash, so I'm just kind of we're just kind of working on that. And uh, let's see what we're working this weekend. And yeah, I mean. All in all, I'm feeling really good about the spot we're in now. <clears throat> I think it's much better than where we were last week, which is great. And I'm just hoping that we can uh, continue to leverage the um, success we've had in the mowing space to get, you know, two two-man mowing crews up and going and then get a, a couple, get like an additional maybe 10, 20 clients over the next... That's kind of a lot to ask for, but like, you know, 10, 20 clients over the next couple weeks um, just because we need to get... You know, we have to do a little bit of ads and whatnot, but just because I want to fill up both mowing schedules and... With a little room to, you know, wiggle, but I don't want to, I just don't want to be losing money on mowing. Like, I'm, I've actually come to the terms with this. It's, I'm okay if for the time being we're just breaking even on mowing. Um, and then as we add these efficiencies over time, we'll start to make money. And also as we continue to add more houses and get more route density, we'll also continue to make money. Because on properties, we're actually doing fine. A lot of it is just the routing and the route density. Um, but, yeah, so I mean, other than that, we are... Man, I should have gone straight, actually. I have to change my mind. I'm sorry, universe. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, we're, we're chilling. There's uh, That's the dealership right there that we bought our mower from. That's the office right there. So that's exciting. We can finally use a different dealer. Our dealer is great. Well, it just was the issues we had. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's all I got for uh, for today. You know, I've been on a bunch of lawns lately. It's been good to get out in the field, but I also really need to get some office stuff done. So I'm excited to do that again. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. Peace.